Hello and welcome to another one of the Primary Tech Club tutorials um, from Trinity ICT. So far in our tutorials we've looked at doing digital outputs. So that culminated in the traffic lights. So we set a set of delays up and we had some red, uh, yellow and green um, LEDs flashing. So what we're going to look at here is first of all some analog inputs and then we're going to look at setting uh, some frequencies going out to a piezo speaker um, and the outcome should be some sort of musical instrument. So using the analog inputs you can take inputs from a whole range of sensors. In this case we're using a potentiometer so this really varies the voltage um, and you attach one of these legs to ground and one of them to the 5 volts um, put a capacitor across it and then the middle pin goes to one of your analog inputs on the board so in this case we've got it going to A1 so that's what we're going to focus on to start with and up here in the code what I want to look at is first of all I have to define uh, the value of that pin so I'm going to just set that as a pin and we're going to give that the value A1 so that's the input pin now what we're going to do is we're going to have another integer which is going to be a variable which is going to be our pop value. Now you don't really need to do it this way but this is just a useful way of doing it. Now the other thing that's very important in the setup phase, so if you remember that the setup is the function it calls first, in the setup phase what we're looking to do is start a serial communication. So we're going to begin serial communication between the computer, the PC, and the Arduino device. And we're going to set that at 9600 board. And basically that's just the um, rate of reading of what's on the uh, Arduino Uno. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go into the um, actual loop of what's gonna happen. And what we're going to do is we're gonna give pop value, pop out um, the uh, value from an analog uh, read excuse me of um, the pin that we've decided so in this case it's pop pin now what that will do is it will write whatever the value is on uh, the analog pin uh, into this value pop out pop valve then what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of things where we're going to do a serial print and you'll see what this does in, in just a second and first of all we're going to say uh, pop val so that we know what it is and the space and then and as you can see because that's in speech marks that's actually text that it's going to output to the serial print and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another serial print and in this case it's actually going to be the value from pop val so we just put in pop valve like that, and that's the code. Because this system is going to be running very, very quickly, it's going to be taking thousands and thousands of measurements. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a one second delay in. Otherwise, this will keep looping and it will keep taking values, and all you'll see when we look at the monitor is a whole load of values. And then semicolon at the end to so show that that line is complete. Okay, let's verify this code. and then we're going to upload it to the device. So once this is compiled, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into tools and we need to look for the serial monitor. So when we open the serial monitor, this is actually reading, as you can see, the pop value from our device. Now I'm not actually touching anything at the moment, but as you can see the pop value is actually varying slightly each time. Um, and that's just because of the, the um, accuracy of the system. But if I now turn this, you should see that the values change. So I'm at the top now. And then I can go down. So it varies between 1023 and if I go right down to the bottom. It will go vary between 1023 and 0. 
So I hope that you can actually see that on the system. I'll just turn that one more time. There we go. There we go, up to 1023. Now we're going to use that to actually control um, the speaker in the next tutorial.